Thank you to the uh, Smash FM Investor Profile. We're out here at the of course, Aquarina here in Doncaster. Of course, with our four amazing swimmers uh, from the Doncaster Templestowe Swimming Club, and of course, they join us right now uh, after their Sunday morning training uh, today. Thanks, uh, all you for joining us. Hello. Hi. <laughs> I'll get each of you to introduce yourselves, and I'll see which events you'd be normally competing at in competition. Um, I'm Charlie, and I normally compete in 50, 100, 200 free, and 100 doing good breaststroke. Hi, I'm Anthony. I compete in all the backstroke events and 200 iron and 50, 100 free. Hi, I'm Georgia, and I race 50, 100, sometimes 200 free, and 100 fly. I'm Chloe, and I race 50, 300 free, and 100 fly. Uh, tell us, uh, how did all you get involved in swimming? Why did you choose it? Um, I started swimming just like I started playing at Aquarina in the indoor pool with, the, with like the Learn to Swim program. And then it just, I moved through the squads and eventually got out to join the club and then started competing with swimming. Um, I started at Wester Falls in Devilstowe where I swam in a 17 metre pool and then joined the squad here when I was around 12. Uh, I've been doing learn to swim here since I was one, and my parents made me swim to a squad level, and then I went through all the squads. Yeah. Um, I was just in a very small pool, and then I started to like swimming a lot, and then I moved to Aquarina, and then started moving to the squads. Um, what would be some highlights for all for you throughout your swimming journeys? Um, probably making my first two national times last week at the Metro Long Course competition and also getting uh, first at States last year at Short Course and getting second at Long Course States last year as well. Uh, my... What oh, was it? Cheers. Yeah, it's <laughs> <laughs> um, My highlights would be meddling at States for the 100 back show, coming second. Um, also making my first national titles and competing at my first national last year. Uh, qualifying for my first state and then more states and making my first state finals. Um, I'm probably be breaking 30 and 53 and qualifying for states. Uh, what does the sport of swimming mean to all four of you now, and especially being here at Doncaster with Temple Stone? For me, swimming is it's my sport and it's something that I'm really good at in life and. I am very social and I don't know. I like coming here because the environment at Doncaster is really good. You know, we're all really good friends and it's fun coming to training most of the time. Yeah, I get to see my mates at training and that just, I think that lifts my spirits if I had like a bad day at school. Also, it just gets my mind off things that I've like, either had earlier in the week or like had through, through the day. So, uh, yeah, it's a good place to just come and get rid of things, like bad things from your head. Um, swimming is just like a way to like get fit and like achieve goals and meet with like friends at competitions and just have fun. Uh, any long or short term goals in the sport of swimming for all four of you? Um, probably long term goals, probably like to make a national final and maybe even make a Australian junior team. Um, short-term goal would be making a national final, um, but then also long-term, possibly, like Charlie said, qualifying for an Australian team, junior or senior. Yeah. Yeah. Um, qualifying for nationals next year, and um, yeah, making more state finals, and also be great to make an Australian junior team. Um, qualifying for more time with states. Thank you. Uh, do you have a I guess a favourite swimmer that you look up to? Um, I look up to Adam Peaty and Michael Phelps. Um, Michael Phelps is just an amazing swimmer and he's just good at everything. Unfortunately, he retired a couple of years ago. And, you know, and Adam Peaty's like really good at breaststroke and like I idolise that because like I'm a breaststroker and that's where I, where I want to be. Um, I like Mitch Larkin. He's an inspiration to me. Um, he just trains day in day out and he's like really humble about how good he is, like he competes consistently at World Champs and Olympics well, that he's been to every year, so I guess, yeah, I look up to him.
I look up to the Campbell sisters fronting Kate because they're some really well at the Olympics and they're two of Australia's fastest female race models. I'm probably saying the job of the Campbell sisters, they just push, it, push each other and it's really inspirational. Uh, what's your personal best times in the events that you that's your favourite? Um, um, probably 100 breasts, uh, 112.5 and 200 breasts, uh, 238. Um, my 50 back, 28.00 and then my 100 back, the 59.9. Uh, 53 is a 29.2 and um, yeah. Um, my 53 is uh, 29.7 and my 103 uh, Do you have any, um, I guess, what would be your advice to our list, uh, viewers out there that should get involved in swimming, especially in the Doncaster Tech stuff? Um, just try it. It doesn't really matter what age you are. You can always just get to the sport at any period of life. And, like, it's just the sport that, like, you can just, it, you don't have to be the best. You just go at your own pace and just swim like how you want to. Like depends if you, even if you want to be like competitive or just for fitness, like to get your aerobic endurance up, it's a good sport to join. Um, like come down here, we've got like a fitness squad and then competitive squad, and like you can figure out what you want to do depending like on what your schedule is and stuff. So yeah, come down. It's just fun. Like you meet so many new people like within the club and then also at competitions, and you don't have to be a good swimmer to like compete. Like. There are no qualifying times for just regular meets and you can just race. Um, advice I would have is to focus on yourself because if you're just starting, you might not be the best, but you just need to focus on yourself and keep going. Now let's get to know each outside of uh, swimming. Um, firstly, favourite food? Uh, pizza. Suvaki. Does it have to be like a meal or could it just be like chocolate? Yeah, chocolate. Okay. Probably fish and chips. Uh, favorite drink? Lemon lime bitters. Yeah, lemon lime bitters. Lemonade. Fair top. Fair top. Oh yes. <laughs> Pineapple fair top. Favorite ice cream flavor? Ice cream. Probably lemon. Oh. Cookies and cream. <laughs> uh, like caramel, salted caramel. A oh, mint chocolate chip. Uh, favorite hobby outside of swimming? Probably footy or cycling. Playing volleyball. Uh, basketball. Netball. Uh, favorite movie? Probably Avengers Endgame. The Dictator or Kingsman? To all the boys I've loved before, that's my favorite. Um, Crazy James. Points. Uh, favorite TV show? And you can, it does include Netflix. Uh, Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Yeah, probably. It'd probably be Brooklyn Nine-Nine, I think. Um, if you do watch reality TV shows, uh, what's your favorite? My Kitchen Rules. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Goldbot. Goldbot. Uh, now, favourite destination that you have been to? Probably America. Um, Greece or Laos? Fiji. Yeah, Fiji. Which part of America? Kansas, Missouri. <laughs> uh, um, favourite destination that you haven't been to yet, that you'd love to go to? Somewhere in Europe. Yeah, oh. Europe. Greece, look. I'm going to go to the Philippines. Maldives. Yeah. Uh, now, um, I'm sure all you have a favourite footy team. Yes. Um, tell us who they are oh. and who's your favourite AFL player? Um, Richmond, oh. Dusty Martin. Um, Collingwood, and I like Brady Brady. We have Essendon. Um, my favourite players are the last year. Um, I go from Melbourne. I don't really have a favorite player. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, um, now, 
Do you have a favourite takeaway store? Well, maybe fish and chips. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'll see. I can't eat some fish and chips. Yeah. But one of Thompson's roads is bang. It's good. Who's your Um, now, what's the most embarrassing moment in the pool? I finished with my head at state sprint and missed the medal. That's she right. came forth. That was very embarrassing. Oh, it was the last training session of the year. Step up two years ago, maybe. We were doing backstroke with fins, and I went to finish and I smacked my head like this, this on the wall. Um, I don't really have an embarrassing moment, but it's pretty bad when your goggles fall off in a race and you don't know where you're going. Oh, yeah. Um, now, uh, any pre-competition ritual or superstition? Don't really have any. Just like, yeah. I always drink my bottle before I walk, like before I take my clothes off. I take my clothes off and then I'll drink again. And then I'll fix a block or I'll fix a backtrack ledge, and then I'll slap, and then I do a stream line, and then I do a few fast strokes, and then I slap again, and then I get in. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. That's true. I know you just arm swings and leg swings, and I jump a bit before. I have a swing fly list that I always listen to before I race. Uh, tell us a bit about your co your new coach uh, out here at uh, Doncaster Temple State. Um, Michael's just been amazing. He's just like helped us improve a lot since his came a couple months ago, and yeah, it's just like my time's been dropping since he's come. Yeah, like Charlie said, my endurance has gotten much better. I've improved my technique for pretty much all my four strokes, and yeah, I've just I feel like I've developed as a swimmer, being pushed more at training and. I think we've all seen improvements and it's like encouraging us to do like, you know, events that we wouldn't normally do and we've like been dropping, dropping a significant amount of times and like races and stuff. Yeah, my technique in all my strokes has improved a lot, so I think he's done really well in that aspect. Two finalists for Atlanta all for you go, which is um, how special to be part of the Smash family as a ambassador. Um, it's like it's really important to me because like I get to like talk about the sport that I love doing and get to talk a bit about myself. Yeah, um, kind of the same. I just get to express like what I feel about swimming and get to tell you guys why if you should join swimming. I get to talk a bit about myself and yeah, it's just good to be a part of such a close group of my mates. Mm, yeah, I think so, yeah, it's good to do it like you know with three of my best friends and. Just talking about swimming is really good. Yeah, it's fun talking about our passions, so yeah. And finish off, uh, which is how special to be investors with each other. Um, it, it's important because like they're, they're my friends and like I get to be like learn more about each other through this. Yeah, um, I didn't know half the stuff that they said before like the embarrassing moments and stuff, so yeah. Yeah. Now I have some blackmail, but like, <laughs> yeah. it's good because like, we're all here for each other and we all support each other in and out of the pool. So I guess, yeah, it's special to be a part of the yeah. it. It's good to like, you know, we all learn a little bit more about each other. Yeah. Well, well, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, giving up some time from your Saturday morning uh, to join us. Uh, best of luck at uh, obviously it's state coming up. Um, in couple of weeks or months of time uh, and let's hope it all goes well for all for you in twenty twenty. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks.